Well, welcome everybody, my colleagues from uh, around the world uh, for this international symposium. My name is Deepak Srivastava and I'm the president of the Gladstone Institutes. And it's been my great honor to have a long-standing collaboration with Kyoto University. And today we'll be celebrating the opening of a new uh, center that uh, takes our level of uh, collaboration and engagement to a new level. As many of you know, we've had a long-standing interaction with Kyoto through Shinya Yamanaka's lab here since uh, 2007. And uh, Kyoto University has now created these new uh, quote-unquote on-site laboratories that you'll hear more about, uh, which are a network of on-site labs uh, around the world. And the on-site lab here at Gladstone is called the IPS Cell Research Center at Gladstone Institutes. And you'll hear more about the goals of this uh, uh, on-site laboratory in a moment. But I will say right now that the, this, the, uh, the goals of this initiative align perfectly with Gladstone's mission of driving a new era of discovery and mentoring tomorrow's leaders. And in this center, we hope to create a disruptive and borderless innovation through the most advanced research on iPS cells in a way that will be able to impact human disease in the years to come. Kichiro Tomoda has been hired to conduct research full-time at Gladstone and will serve as a conduit between Gladstone and Japan uh, in this on-site laboratory. And Kichiro, as I'll say more about uh, in a little bit, will speak today and has had a stint at Gladstone in the past uh, and is gonna be a wonderful scientist to connect the two institutions. And I think through this laboratory, we look forward to many more fruitful partnerships between our two institutions and through SIRA as a result of this effort. And uh, we are also very grateful to Stem Cell Technologies for supporting this event with a initial gift to the center. And so we look forward to a wonderful symposium today where we will hear both about iPS cells and specific applications of iPS cells to COVID research, which we thought was timely. And, uh, and we'll be doing that in two distinct sessions. And before we start on the, the science, I'd like to, uh, at this time, uh, introduce the president of Kyoto University, who is kind enough to grace this symposium with a few comments. Dr. Nagahiro Minato uh, received his MD and PhD degrees from Kyoto University and there he has served as a professor of immunology and cell biology, dean of the Graduate School of Medicine, provost, and now president. And uh, we're delighted to, to have you here with us, uh, Dr. Minoto, and I look forward to your comments. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Nagahiro Minato, uh, president of Kyoto University. It is my great honor to attend this wonderful joint symposium and to give us to uh, celebrate the launch of the IPS uh, Research Center at Gladstone Institute. It is indeed our pleasure and honor uh, to have established this Kyoto University on-site laboratory uh, headed by Dr. Shinya Yamanaka. And I'm sincerely grateful for uh, Gladstone, kind and uh, generous support of this endeavor. Through the great efforts of Dr. Yamanaka, his colleagues, and many other uh, researchers, IPS studies are now at the new stages in the pro uh, uh, progresses toward clinical application for a number of human diseases. At the Kyoto University uh, a Hospital, clinical trials for IPS based therapies are ongoing, including for Parkinson's diseases. ARS and Alzheimer's disease. We hope that these efforts uh, will bring great benefits for those who suffer from various interactive diseases in the near future. I'm also excited that IPS cells can be a hopeful, uh, powerful tool to conflict, combat against the current big challenge of COVID-19. Also, in no way secondary to its clinical application, the discovery of IPS, cell, IPS cells has opened a new arena for basic research. 
and we expect it to make a great contribution to understanding of this long-standing mystery in biology as well. Based on our university's international research policy, we have initiated two uh, other non uh, on site laboratories for medical research in this California areas uh, with UCLA and UCSD. And we hope that these IPS research center at Gladstone uh, will function in close interaction with those other labs as well. And in conclusion, I'd like to thank the Gladstone again for, for your kind support and collaboration on on-site laboratories established uh, uh, in that school and, and their great scientific environments. And I truly hope that it will contribute to human health and welfare across national borders in tight cooperation with the scientists in the Gladstone Institute. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, Minato-san. And yes. it's wonderful to be doing this uh, with you all. And I think uh, being 2021 now, it's actually the 15 year anniversary since uh, Dr. Yamanaka's first publication of wow. uh, the IPS or induced pluripotent stem cell discovery. And we've seen the field evolve so much over the last 15 years. And I think uh, with the efforts of this type of center and the efforts in Kyoto and at Gladstone and beyond uh, the next uh, 15 years, we'll certainly see a huge transformation in how we take care of patients because of this revolutionary technology. I agree, thank you very much. Um, at this time, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Toru Kawamura, who is a professor at uh, Saira and Kyoto University and in fact uh, trained at the Gladstone Institutes with Dr. Uh, Robert Maley in the late 1990s and also has a close connection uh, to Gladstone. And uh, he uh, currently also holds a post as Senior Director of Research at the Takeda Pharmaceutical Company, which has a very close uh, collaboration with Syra to advance this discovery towards human patients. And uh, Dr. Uh, Kawamura will tell us a bit more about the on-site laboratory initiative from Kyoto University. Toru? I appreciate your kind introduction, Deepak. Uh, can you hear, hear my voice? Yes. Okay, um, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Toru from Saira Kyoto University. And first of all, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Kyoto University's on-site lab initiative, which was mentioned by President Minato. And Kyoto University has been actively enhancing international partnership and one of the initiatives is on-site lab launched in 2018. Under the initiative, a laboratory is established on the campus of partner institutions and or at Kyoto University. We are researchers from both bodies work together to conduct research and further collaboration with the local industries. Through the high quality collaboration and education, we expect to further develop world leading and cutting edge science, as well as foster talented early career researchers and students, and to explore new domains of academic endeavor. As so far, Kyoto University has established 11 on-site labs around the world. In the medical field, Kyoto University has launched two on-site labs in collaboration with the University of California, UCLA, and UCSD. And by partnership with the Glaston Institute, IPSA Research Center at Glaston Institute was established in 2019 to create disruptive and borderless innovation through advanced research on IPS cells. As Deepak mentioned, Dr. Yamanaka Director of SIDA has been running a research lab at Glaston since 2007. And this on-site lab is expected to broaden the scientific collaboration between Glaston and SIDA. 
So in October 2019, we held the opening ceremony at Gladstone. And at the time, so Council General Uyama attended the ceremony and gave us a huge encouragement. The research mission of the IPSL Research Center at Gladstone Institute is to understand post-translational regulation in proliferation or differentiation in prepotent stem cells. Under the mission, Dr. Tomoda joined to lead the onsite lab. However, the COVID-19 pandemic hindered him from moving to San Francisco until last October, uh, when he finally managed to start the active research on site. So this is a picture of online research by Zoom when he was forced to stay in Japan for about half a year. So over the difficulties, we are very happy to hold this kickoff symposium. Today, we're having two sessions. Session one is on IPSO research with Drs. Yamanake and Tomoda. And session two is the latest studies on COVID-19 research with the doctors McDavid and Takayama. I hope you enjoy the sessions. Thank you for listening.